Tonight on Headlines tonight, we'll actually focus on this whole business of the EMIs being reduced in one hand and the government taking some more money out of our pocket because, well, the prices of petrol will rise. That's coming up on the show. I'm Akash Panerjee. I'm Padmaja Joshi, but let's begin on a positive note. There is cheer, <laughs> even though it's small cheer for the Ahmadmi. Amidst rising prices of everyday products, the Reserve Bank of India today cut the repo rate for the first time in three years by 50 basis points to boost the sagging market sentiment. Now, what this also implies for you and me is that the banks will now have to follow suit and cut interest rates on home loans, thereby reducing your EMIs. But the devil, of course, also is in the details. How much of this is actually going to be a relief? How much is it going to translate to? And will the banks actually pass down the entire benefits to you and to me? We've decided to reduce the repo rate under the liquidity adjustment facility by 50 basis points. The repo rate will accordingly drop from 8.5% to 8%. However, it must be emphasized that the deviation of growth from its trend rate is modest. At the same time, upside risks to inflation persist. These considerations inherently limit the space for further reduction in policy. The RBI governor's tentative rate cut has failed to impress IT professional Harsh Vardhan. He has shelved his plans to buy a house. It would not anyhow relief any one of us. So, in fact, people like us won't be in a position to buy a house in future if this goes like that only. Too little, too late, an overwhelming sense of deja vu among home owners. The developers as well as home buyers were reeling under severe pressure because of the 13 times, like you mentioned, rate going up and uh, repo rate increasing by 350 basis point. So just by itself, it's definitely a welcome step after such a prolonged period of interest rates going up constantly. This might be a step in the right direction, but maybe it might not be enough to immediately uh, bring that required buoyancy to the demand levels in, in the markets. It was left to the finance minister to explain RBI's change of heart after 13 straight rate hikes. This reduction is after almost two years. The moderation of the core inflation rate for four months in a row from 8.31% in December 2011 to 5.1% in March 2012, along with a sharper decline in the inflation for manufactured products from 7.64% to 4.87% in this period has facilitated the change in the monetary policy stance. But analysts fear RBI's rate cut move may just reverse the inflatory trend, drive up demand and prices. Prices of global commodities including oil are climbing, forcing IOC to sound a warning on Tuesday. The markets closed before the IOC announcement, still celebrating the rate cut. The Sensex surging 207 points. The Nifty up by 63.5 points at 5,289.70. And Realty, Auto and Banking stocks all ending in the green. I think many people had expected that given the emphasis being given on making sure that the economy rebounds. If we believe inflation is between 6.5 and, and 7 and repo rate is 8, 8, I think it's Real interest rates are attractive for people to put money into investing. It was more positive than it could be. I had a reservation that I had a doubt that the RBI will do something, what will it do, 25 basis points, what will it do, what will it do, what will it do. This is a very good move. The economy very badly needs it. What is very important is growth. Growth is failing, especially industrial growth. Services and agricultural growth has not been bad. And industrial growth is low because Interest costs are very high. Economists say that for the central bank it is very difficult to offer any further rate cut considering the fact that even though the general inflation scenario has eased, the food inflation remains a big concern. So for the common man, there seems to be no relief, at least in the near term. In New Delhi, Mayur Shekhar Jha, Headlines Today. So in essence, will today's move uh, make that dream of owning a house make a lit become a little more within reach for you? Joining us now in the studio is Naveen Raheja. He is the